Hi everyone, welcome to DevNet Create. In this session, I'm very excited to share you about an application I built, which is WebEx Telehealth Portal. In this session, we'll see how we can leverage WebEx programmability to enable WebEx meeting on web browser and how that transforms the whole user experience. My name is Alvin. I'm a technical solutions specialist at Cisco, um, global virtual engineering DevNet team. So I work very closely with Cisco solutions programmability. I focus a lot on automation, DevOps, and digital transformation. Just a little bit about uh, this application background. Obviously, the pandemic has affected a lot in our life and has caused a massive acceleration in telehealth. In the healthcare industry, um, actually, it become a new normal or even a necessity for healthcare institutions who have telehealth. And um, back in November last year, I started talking to our healthcare customer and they were using WebEx as the telehealth solution. However, um, when it comes to um, the out of the box solution from WebEx, it probably might not be the most effective way to engage in the telehealth use cases. So let's see what challenges this um, institution it were having. And some of these challenges were quite general. Some of them are quite specific to this particular healthcare institutions. So hopefully you think you can find something um, in common and um, that's what you want to address. So we are talking about how to enhance uh, the, the challenges that we have with user experience. The first um, challenge is actually from the patient side. So um, most patients would join their telehealth um, from their mobile devices. However, um, as of today, the only way to join WebEx meeting on mobile, applica mo mobile devices is actually to join from the mobile uh, application of WebEx. So which means um, patients have to install the application on their phone. And this step is quite difficult for less tech savvy people, such as the elderly people. And the second challenge comes from the medical team. Um, for this institution, the doctors and specialists, when they want to start a virtual consultation with the patients, they have to create a WebEx meeting first and then copy those meeting information, such as the meeting link, and post it in the internal system to the nurses, where at the um, nursing station, that is uh, where, where the patients are staying. So um, this is a very manual and convoluted procedure for the doctors and specialists, um, very time consuming. And what's more is um, the nurses actually lack the visibility on the status of patients, they could not tell if the patient cannot join the virtual consultation. And the next challenge comes from um, a quite niche use case. This healthcare institution also want to cater the case that um, where the patients who forgot or did not bring their phones during the hospital admission, and they are willing to offer a mobile device to those patients. However, that they lack a way for uh, like a quick way for those patients to connect with their friends and relatives. So um, that's also a challenge they want to cater. And last challenge is from the IT side. So whenever the organization introduces a new system, which is a WebEx platform for this time, they also have to think about the integration. How can this work perfectly well in the healthcare use case? They have WebEx as the collaboration platform, however, um, they, they also have their backend healthcare record system. How do they make it work together for these two pieces of um, system? So um, that's how we come up with the idea about um, WebEx Telehealth Portal. Um, so this WebEx Telehealth Portal is a one-stop web portal that is available to every types of user we saw just now. And it is highly simplified and customi uh, customized for um, healthcare use case, especially for telehealth. And it is streamlined for um, the user experience. We try to minimize the effort for each user to be able to initiate the meeting, join the meeting. And this telehealth portal is fully web browser based, which means for every step, um, including scheduling meeting, joining meeting, they can all do it in the web browser alone without any application, including our uh, WebEx application. So in terms of um, joining meeting, we make it very simple for patients to join the meeting. They can either join from the browser notification or um, they will get an, uh, a hyperlink that is sent from the SMS or email. 
and just one lane to push, they can go to the KDL portal and have a meeting. And also the KDL portal handles a uh, generation of temporary guest account um, for the patients. So they can um, have a self-service um, portal to create access for themselves to the doctors. And um, this page, this telehealth portal also automates the status update from the patients to um, the frontline medical team. So the nurses can actually have the visibility on the patient um, status. So this is our um, solution high level diagram. In the middle is our web engine, which bridge every component of this solution. And we have expressed JS as the um, web front uh, web framework. And then we also have Bugtub as the template engine. And we uh, even though we do not use the WebEx application itself, we do need WebEx for the, all the collaboration technology, the video conference, conferencing capabilities. And we also use Twilio and email, Gmail as SMS and email gateway respectively. And for um, highlight here, I do want to mention um, we have a database um, in MongoDB, but the more important thing is um, we can try to integrate it with the um, patient records, which for healthcare industry usually refer to PML or DHL, patient management record or electronic health um, record. So with those records, they contain the patient's um, information such as name, medical identifier, and also the contact information. So with this uh, kind of integration, the telehealth portal can also authenticate the identity of the patient. And here comes to the very three key components from WebEx that enabled the whole telehealth portal. And the first one is WebEx SDK. The application is using WebEx widget um, primarily, and which is built with the WebEx browser SDK. Basically, it allows us to join the WebEx meeting fully from the browser without any external application, without any external plugins on the browser. And it is JavaScript and WebRTC based, so it's fairly easy for us to embed it in the web application and um, the web browser. The most important thing is um, it's very developer friendly. It comes pre-built with the WebEx user interface. So for example, here's a snapshot from the telehealth portal. Um, this, uh, as we can see from the screenshot, um, the look and feel is pretty similar to what we are experiencing on WebEx today. And um, for our web backend, we do have a Node.js SDK that can call different APIs um, to manage collaboration capabilities in the web backend as well. And the second key component is about the guest issuer. So guest issuer grants um, our application permission to create different, uh, to create the temporary guest account for patients. And um, this is a perfect use case because those temporary accounts is accessible to um, regular user within the WebEx organization. So for patients to doctor communication, patient would be holding the temporary account and doctors would be the regular user. So, and, and as well, the aspiration time can be specified. So it's really a perfect fit for such a use case. And last but not least, we also utilize the WebEx port, which uh, helps automate tasks and notification. And in our usage, we use the web export to monitor the patient availability and report with a real-time notification for the um, nurse team so that they can take relevant action with a patient's unavailable for um, virtual consultation. So um, after consolidating all the requirements with that um, healthcare institution and see what is possible with WebEx, we narrow down to three use cases that we cover in this application. The first one is inpatient consultation, which is the ad hoc one-to-one -one meeting. And the second is the um, outpatient consultation, which is get scheduled one-to-one -one meeting. The last use case is about guest visit, which is an ad hoc multi-party meeting. The first use case, inpatient consultation, um, we will cover the detailed workflow. The first thing patient need to do, of course, is to register at the telehealth portal. And remember, we integrate with the PML or EHR so that um, the identity for patients can be authenticated. And once that step is done, um, patient is on board and got a guest account. Um, doctor can initiate a meeting and a real-time notification sent by the 
web browser or SMS or email, depending on the um, patient information, to be sent to notify the patient for consultation. And once both parties join the telehealth portal, they can meet um, with the WebEx capability on the web browser. So it, in case the patient is unavailable for um, virtual consultation, our WebEx bot will send a real-time notification to a group of graduate nurse, let's say the nurses that is um, in charge of the medical ward. Um, so the nurse can um, wake the patient if they fall asleep or um, try to make him or her available for the um, consultation. The second use case is about outpatient consultation. Um, it's pretty similar to what we have just now. Um, so for outpatient, doctor can initiate the consultation by specifying the date and time. And then um, the patient will receive an SMS or email for um, that um, no, uh, outpatient consultation. And that link within the message um, only work when the schedule time is on. And when the schedule time comes, just both parties jump on the web browser and meet again in the web uh, telehealth portal. And the last risk case about guest visit and record that this is for um, an inpatient who do not have a phone with him or her, and then the hospital is offering a mobile device. And simply the inpatient can register the guest information, um, for example, the phone number and email, and then um, patient can choose to invite which guest to um, get into this guest room. And the guest will get a notification from SMS or email. And finally, they again can have a multi-party um, meeting in, within the telehealth portal. So um, here comes our demo. And before we just start, um, just to quickly introduce the layout here, we are currently we are looking at the interface for um, doctors or specialists for the telehealth portal. And then we will also have a picture-in-picture -picture mobile phone screen that is referring to the patient's um, um, screen as well. Let's get started. First, look at the um, our very first use case, inpatient consultation. And we have John. John is an inpatient with his phone number registered in the back-end uh, medical healthcare uh, system. And we can see John register his um, with his own detail name and medical ID at the telehealth portal. At the same time, a guest account is already created in the back end for John. And John can now settle down in the medical ward and wait for Dr. Alvin's calling. And we can see from the um, doctor's side, um, Alvin already initiated a meeting with um, John. Immediately, John received an SMS with who is calling and also a web link. Um, so as you can see, when John clicks on the web link, it does not redirect to any external application and it brings John to the web browser. So within the web browser, there's also no need for external plugin. So when both parties enable the permissions required for audio and video, they can see each other and start their inpatient consultation. So we call on the um, user experience for doctor. Um, he no longer needs to go through the very complicated process. So here comes the second patient, Jane. Jane is also an inpatient, but this time Jane does not have her phone registered in the back end uh, with the medical record. So um, the hospital just went um, loaned this mobile device for Jane. So what Jane needs to do is stay on the web browser with the enable notification. So immediately after Dr. Elvin tried to initiate an inpatient consultation with Jane, um, Jane phones actually pop up with a window on the web browser uh, within the telehealth portal. So Jane can choose to accept or deny the call. Um, but to demonstrate what would happen if Jane is not available for the call, uh, Jane just did not accept it. And um, here we utilize the web export as we can see, there's an unsuccessful inpatient consultation with the respective name and for the patient and caregiver. So let's look at the second use case, outpatient consultation. Let's say John now is discharged and Dr. Alvin will actually want to schedule a future meeting with John. So um, when the time comes, Dr. can actually join, start the meeting from his calendar. 
And at the same time, John received an SMS for the scheduled time, specific date and time. And by the same token, um, with a web link that we direct to the web browser. So think about for maybe other outpatient who has never experienced the telehealth portal. Traditionally, they have to install the app, WebEx application on their own, especially their outpatient, they, um, that there will be no one nearby to help um, him or her to install the application. That could be quite difficult. So with the web um, browser approach, it's very simple and it's very familiar with the user who is using web every day. Meanwhile, Jane is stay, still staying in the hospital and Jane wants to utilize the guest room function to have a guest visit. So when Jane click on the guest room button on telehealth portal, she is redirected to the page to fill in the name of the guest and also the contact of the guest. So the contact here can be either phone number or email. So to illustrate, um, Jane invited John to her guest room. And um, again, Jane can simply um, enable the permission and wait in her guest room. And the email comes in for John. Let's see how John can join. So similarly, to minimize the user input and make it as simple as poss possible for, for every user, um, to join the guest room, there's no um, credentials or uh, any user input required. Sim as simple as just clicking the web link, John is able to join in the guest room. So that's um, wrap up the demo. So in summary, we look how we can, from the um, application design perspective, utilize a web-based um, WebEx uh, meeting capability to transform the whole user experience, make it easier, make it more user-friendly for um, patient-doctor communication in telehealth use case. So my call to action is actually um, try to look at the WebEx for developers page, um, WebEx uh, developer.works.com and there the most fantastic thing is all sort of um, technology we discussed today including the SDK, the guest issuer, um, the widget, um, all of them are documented on this website. So you can go there and kickstart your project and the next thing about is the WebEx SDK documentation and also if you're interested to look at the source code for this telehealth portal you can go on code exchange and find this use case. So this is the end of my session and thank you for joining.